Paranormal investigating at Plink Castle. Come on in. Looks like we can go in that tower there. Then. Yeah. Um. So we're here at Plink Castle, which is just on the Wales coastline. You can just see where the River Dee is meeting the sea. It's like a really pretty view. This is all that's left of the castle, um, which isn't very much. It's all in ruins. I couldn't find any paranormal stories on the internet about it, so I thought we'd come down and do our own investigation and see if we can pick up anything on the um, spirit box. Mum knows a bit of um, bit of history, don't you, Mum? Yes, it was the first of the Ring of Steel. Um, castles to be built around North Wales by the English. Um, they were built to uh, so that they could take Wales into Britain. Um, so everywhere that they built a castle, they built a town to go with it. You could only live in that town if you were British, English, I should say. Um, yeah, we're in Wales, Mum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then basically it was uh, from 1277 it was built completed in 1284 and it was the first of the Ring of Steel that they built yeah. right round North Wales. I read on the internet that it was a day's march from Chester, that's why they built it here, because it just took one day to march. And there's lots of steps to go up there. Four down there. So this looks like it's one turret, doesn't it? And then that's another one so there's there is bits of the the four turrets still here but then nothing else yeah we're gonna go up yeah so we're gonna top of the turret just about. It looks like it's quite formed, isn't it? The most intact 
yeah, the North Tower apparently was the um, was a castle within the castle, its own moat and drawbridge. So wouldn't this be it though? This whole bit? No? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, because they um, dismantled the whole castle. They tried to they they knocked it down out of all and essentially buried it within itself, sort of thing. It would have been huge, probably. Mm -hmm. And it was a castle within a castle. I feel a bit dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel a bit dizzy now after going round and round all those steps. So we're going to go down to the bottom of this turret and I'm going to try and do a bit of a spirit box session to see if we can pick up any lost spirits that might still be here in Flint Castle. You never know. So I've set up the spirit box at the bottom of this turret. Hello, my name's Gemma, and we're just looking to communicate with anyone that might still be here in Flint Castle. Are there any spirits still here? Any soldiers? Or is there anyone that would like to communicate with us? If there's anyone still here, can you tell us what your name is? Any of King Edward's brave men, brave soldiers? King Edward the First, his brave man. Any of Henry the Fourth, brave soldiers. Well, unfortunately, we didn't pick anything up in that, that the largest turret. So we're gonna go over here. Plus there was lots of people about, so it might put off the spirits. So this one's the one with its own drawbridge you were talking about. The North Turret. Oh, this could be it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Let's go through here. Are you letting me go first? <laughs> Shall we try it? Yeah, go on. Base court, where kings grow base, to come at traitors' cause and do them grace. In the base court, come down. 
down, king, for night I'll shriek where Milton Marks should sing. Bolingbroke arrives at the castle courtyard. He walks up to Richard and kneels before him. Fair cousin, you debase your princely knee to make the base earth proud with kissing. Mira. responses from the spirit box. We're just walking away from the castle now. We're just going to go for um, a short walk. There's a coastal path so I can get some photographs of the castle. Um, I know the distance. It looks quite, it looks a bit more spectacular from the distance really. Mm -hmm. 